Now nah, you, you order two different dishes. All right. Yes. Two different. You won't go as far as to two different drinks. No, that would be stupid. All right. All right. We'll get that. Or we'll go back to the table. All right. Mm-hmm. And uh, she'll just, when it comes to the table, she'll just kind of inhale, and she'll be like, "Hmm, that certainly smells good." <laughs> yes, this one here he places in front of her. Uh, is uh, rather a specialty. Uh, there's the unique tebanyaki flavor, but it also has the addition of lemon pepper and several other spices, whereas the one I have, he places it down, uh, it's a bit hotter. It has cumin and other things in it. It's sort of a paprika type of event going on with its seasoning. Mm, so you got yourself the spicier one? Uh, yes, well, mine is spicier. Yours is more bitter. Uh, well, hmm. You'll just kind of pause for a moment. Bitter is one of the essential flavors. It's quite the unique experience. Mm. So you'd think it suits me then, being bitter? Mm. To be perfectly honest, we'll pause for a moment. Mm. No, I think I might have gotten these mixed up. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to just let it all out, something on your mind? And he'll be like, uh, all right, a one courage? No. <laughs> That's visible. And, yes, uh, that is visible. And uh, she's going to be like, uh, wow, I guess I really was on the nose. I mean, it's all just kind of circle her ring or a finger around the ring of the plate and she'll be like you know if you if you really had to talk to anybody i mean what do you have to lose from talking to me <laughs> he's going to say let's see what do i have to lose uh no no not my pride i think i've already given that up when it comes to you um Ooh. not much well, I mean, he did get down on his knees and beg her for assistance. Mm. That's what he's referring to. All right. And he'll go, it's been a trying couple of days ever since vacation started. Trying? Vacation? Then if you're not on vacation, what are you on? I suppose it might be more of a work holiday at this point. Work holiday? Mm. Yes. Does this refer to the books you mentioned earlier? Something like that. Mm. Something in which to make you sweat in front of me before you've even started eating. Mm. Right. Mm. <laughs> he really doesn't want to say anything about the family stuff, and I rolled the one cur, so he's just going to blurt out. Well, I mean, I did discover my uncle is also a mythopoetic. And, well, I think I disappointed him quite a bit. Hmm. Your uncle? Right. Right, I suppose that would be the substitute. Yes. And he knew everything. And I suppose in wanting to keep face, I may have lost it completely. And shown him that I'm nothing more than a bumbling child. Mm. Rio kind of sinks in his chair. Even if, uh, even if you hypothetically didn't lose face, you're still a child. If you, if you just consider the uh, the physical empirical evidence <laughs> of age difference. Yes, of course, but I mean, I get the sense I really disappointed him this time. I mean, it's not as though I can think of anything to do that would... Eh, never mind. It's not as though there's any other way it could have gone. After all, I was nervous to say everything I've learned of a man. Mm. Mm. Of course, it's like exposing yourself, I would imagine. Yes, a bit. I mean... For the past seven years, him and he and his wife and my cousins, they've been my family. They've raised me it is a bit well 
it does make you feel a bit raw going in to talk about something that has been hidden from you and you were hiding for no real good reason, but you didn't know that at the time. Mm. Hidden? Did he did he really not use any mytho mythopoetic powers in your presence? Norio's just gonna shake his head and go, I don't know. I don't think he did. Which means if he did, I wasn't paying attention. Well, it's nothing to agonize over. You can't change the past, but well, you can you can learn from it and conduct yourself accordingly. Would that be something of your creed? <sighs> it should be, but uh, honestly, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and once again, still going with for one courage. This is just going to kind of slip out, and Rio will go. I don't know if there's anything I can do that'll ever impress him. Mm. Well, with talk like that, no. But, and she'll just kind of, uh, she'll just kind of pick up the spicy, is it a meatball? It's a chicken wing. She'll just kind of pick up the spicy oh, chicken uh -huh. wing and she'll break a bit out and she'll just put it to her lips. It'd be like, yeah, with a little bit of this though, you might just break through. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I need to roll understanding for me. What the fuck? For you. What? What's my understanding, Jess? Why are you making a joke? No, okay, that was a joke, but I do want Rio to roll understanding for this. All right. Four. What is he thinking? What is he getting she, from this? She's eating the spicy. All right. She's eating the spicy. Maybe you need to be spicy. Maybe you need to be spicy. Sorry, I thought she was doing like a chicken mustache because you said you put it in front of her lip and I was really confused. And I yeah, thought I she was saying you need, to, you need to be a man or something. I thought she was saying put like a mustache. I... No. I thought she was saying eat it out of my mouth. No. I got the impression that she was kissing it. Yeah. You know, okay. she's, she's... Good. You know. we, we, <laughs> avoided, we avoided a misunderstanding. That's what understanding is for. And yeah, we'll go... Maybe. And he'll just kind of reach down and pick one up and will bite into it. Since Rio is a Nagoyan, like, he can be used to eating these things, right? Yeah. Okay. So that, that means he can pretty much dismantle one with a chopstick or just to take, bite all the meat, most of the meat off in one go. Oh, now he's using her fingers, so they're pretty sticky. Yeah. It's fine. You, you you meant to use your fingers on some of them. I. So yeah, I meant like strip meat off with a chopstick, not like hold it up to your mouth with it. But yeah, no, he's gonna pick one up and bite into it. Hmm. And I guess you'll continue, and you'll be like, uh, showing that you you can grow. I think that's what all parental figures want to see. If you if you deviate from out of the norm, but you do so in a way that isn't simply chaotic, wouldn't that be something that's impressive? Even if it's uh, fairly mundane in terms of what you actually do. Mm. And he's going to think for a moment and then go, maybe. But I mean, <sighs> that's not a bad idea. In fact, it's probably, not probably, it's a very good advice. But it's not like I can just make a lateral move. I need to change and grow. Well, I guess I'm always in the process of growing. I am still a child, after all. And I will just kind of reach over and pick up one of the lemon drumsticks and we'll go, I suppose that's a bitter pill I need to swallow and take a bite out of it. Mm. Mm. But do you really need to change? And if so, what exactly are you trying to change into? Mm. Mm. I don't know. I thought I had a plan laid out for my life, but... Well, I mean, this changed that. Uh, what to change into? I guess that's the question I've been struggling with. Hmm. 
It does seem a little bit simplistic. You simply change. Mm. Right. You can't just say you're going to change. You need to know what you want to change into and, well, know how to change into that. And she'll just kind of say, she'll just kind of say bitterly as she'll take the, she'll take the chicken wing out of your hand. will be like, when it comes to people saying that they want to change, that's what makes me bitter. And she'll just, she'll eat the, the, the drumstick. Mm-hmm. That's unsanitary. Rio doesn't say that. And he'll be like, you know, my uncle... He's a man I most admire. So I guess I may have been modeling myself after him a lot. Maybe instead of changing... The present ring. And he'll just kind of nod, and he'll go, Well, I think I didn't really grasp the full concept of that at the time. For a while. But yes... Something like that. I guess... Uh, I guess I should try to change by being less like him and more like who I want to be. So I should figure out what I want to do. You know, stop for a moment and then go, well, I know a lot of the things I want to do. I still want to succeed in school, but that means something radically different than it meant a year ago. Mm, you can take out the word change. You don't need it to do at all. You should do what you want to do. Mm. Not because you feel like you need to change, but because you genuinely want to do it. Nobody can fault you for that if you stand strong by your convictions rather than be wissy-wussy and say you want to change simply for the benefit of other people. People, you can't make everybody agree with you, so that's why you need to stick to your guns rather than trying to walk both paths. Ariel will just kind of take a sip from his drink and will go ever since I came to this school my convictions have been shaken but I guess you're right I'm not really going to change anything I still know who I want to be it's still the same thing if I can never get my uncle to say that he's proud of me or what I'm doing I at least want to keep being the kind of person who he can say, well, well, who he can say, <sighs> Rio just kind of stops up and then goes, who he can say is a good successor for the and he's just going to kind of bang his head on the table. I have been so dumb. Mm. <sighs> and he's just going to kind of bring himself back up and go, I have been so dumb. My uncle's known the entire time. <sighs> mm. And he's just going to go, <sighs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. I don't think I would have come to this revelation if I wasn't talking to someone. Well, at least let me know what the revelation is. <sighs> Regardless of whether I'm his child or not, I mean, once he's gone, that was going to be, well, not gone, but once he's older, then it's like I would be the next <sighs> Ogata person. But he's known the entire time that that's not going to happen. Because I'm something else. Mm -hmm. But yet he still treated you the same? And he's going to kind of nod and go, yes. He still treated me exactly the same. Mm. Even though he could probably see plain as day that everything I was doing was under the assumption that I could do that, that I could be, I guess you could say, successor to the next head of the family. If there's no important family stuff, but I still wanted to, you know, be the authority figure around for cousins, take care of him and my, 
mother, aunt, in their retirement and that kind of stuff. All the things that would be my responsibility, but... <sighs> my god. That's what I wanted more than anything else. He never could have told me that it wasn't possible. Hmm. I imagine if you wanted to be an astronaut, but you, uh, or well, pilot, but you uh, wear glasses. Something well, you don't wear like glasses that. anymore, I suppose. Right. Yes. Something like that. <sighs> I really have just been a kid. <clears throat> Now, now, there's no need to get down in the dumps. Uh, you're not alone here. Your mood, it reflects onto me. Right, right. He's just going to pick up another one of his own off his plate and bite into it. And just kind of, like, strip it as clean as he can. And after he swallows fat, he'll go, Right, I'm not getting depressed. It's, I mean, it is sad, but it's odd to explain. It's sort of cathartic, I guess. Mm. I guess after a nice sauna? Hmm. I guess. Hmm. He <laughs> was about to say something, but then he goes, Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and he's going to just kind of thump his hand against the table and go, Now me, you're a genius! That makes perfect sense. Uh, I am. Uh, I am. He's just going to kind of nod his head and then go, Yes, I mean, it might be a bit literal, but in hindsight it makes perfect sense. I mean, maybe he knew. Maybe he knew that going to the school would make me come to a personal identity crisis. But I'd need some catharsis and something relaxing when I came back. Something to change the way the blow was struck. Maybe that's why we went there. Or well, maybe it's just a general nice place to be. Mm. I suppose I might be looking into it a bit too much. You're right. I mean, I love metaphors and all, but you know. Well, regardless of whether it was intended or not, he just kind of takes another bite. In hindsight, it works out perfectly. Mm, yes, that little thing. Mm. And all this time I've been feeding myself. To this kind of side glance. Mm. Feeling yourself. Well, I suppose I've been doing a bit of talking. Is there anything you want to say? What I want to say... Mm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, well, I'll probably be doing a lot of talking tomorrow. Hmm. Wow. I see. Mm. Not necessarily out of joy. Hmm. Right. Hmm. <sighs> Something uncomfortable, I take it. Mm, yes, I guess it it, it 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 depends on how dear sister is feeling. Ah, uh, I see. Right. I suppose it might have something to do with all that. Kaharu never did seem like she knew from what little I've no, I've been a interacted with her. Never did seem like she knew as much as you did. I suppose <sighs> catching up might be a bit... Might be an event. Well, if she knew, I would be doing a very bad job. Mm, right. Mm. Is it important that you keep it from her? For your own personal situation, of course. Mm, maybe it has something to do with my entire existence. But, mm. well, it's still uh, unknown territory. Right. Huh. Mm, you into well, that... science much? Mm. 
Well, he just kind of... Hmm. I mean, what do you think? I say you look the type. Well, there you go. No, but uh, I've never really been too big on the technical technical terms, but when people discover something in science, it's usually a big thing. Mm-hmm. And then she'll just kind of uh, rest her hand on her rest her head on her hand as she's leaning across the table and be like, mm, I may be the next big thing, you know, if they discover why it is I am this way. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Hmm. What way is that? Hmm. Hmm. And, uh, I suppose, uh, I suppose, I suppose we'll stick to the uh, to the similes, and then she'll just pour her drink into your cup. Okay, rude. And she'll be Not like, okay. "How would you distribute the drinks?" Distribute. Mm. She's just gonna look at her for a moment and go, "Well, how would I? I suppose I would try to give you your drink." I would try to separate the two drinks into their hmm, most pure forms, but that's quite impossible now. You've mixed them up. Oh, I had to. Yes. They're right. one and the same. Right. And so they're one drink now. Mm. Well, I suppose I'd give you half of it then. What's the point of having two half, half the cups when you can have one full one? Hmm. Well, in that case, I have something to drink and you don't. Unless exactly. you're suggesting... Ah, uh, okay. Exactly. Hmm. And he's just going to look down. And he's not going to say it, but he's going to think it. Okay, so she's talking about herself in Kaharu. Hmm. Right. I suppose that is... Hmm. Ever interesting. Sorry, I don't mean to be so impersonal about that. She'll say, no, 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 it's cathartic. You're just assuming the drink is a good thing. Hmm. Well, I am thirsty. <laughs> I'll leave that for later. But no, no. If the, if, if the liquid is bad. Hmm. If it's bad. Hmm. I suppose if it's bad, then my own personal feelings would be to place it entirely in my cup. She'll just kind of smile. Right. I see. So it's something like that, then. That mm. seems quite unique. Oh, I, I, it certainly is. Uh, a bit of a fallback from... Uh... From the olden times. Hmm. Right. From the olden times. So there's something like it that can explain a part of it, but this is completely new. Well, in, in a decade, it'll be nearly a hundred years ago. Ah, I see. And he's just going to pause for a moment and then go... Does it have something to do with how, well, I suppose there's no way to dance around it, but how both of you are supposed to be empty? And he's just going to kind of wince himself while he's saying it, figuring, man, that's really insensitive to say. Hmm. A wordsmith. Well, yes. All right. So, um, let's go a little bit further. Let's say the liquid represents the soul. Hmm. Right. Is the soul a bad thing? Hmm. Maybe bad is a bad word. How about it represents pain? Hmm. Right. Hmm. He'll just nod and go, okay, I get that. Pain isn't necessarily bad or good. It depends on the context. Hmm. Yes. I can see your point there. So in that case, 
<sighs> well, still, in this situation, I still wouldn't want to give you any of it back. Mm. And she'll just kind of wave over to the empty glass. You'll be like, uh, oh, isn't it nice seeing a, a nice clean glass with, well, it has so much potential really, wait, waiting to be filled inside of it. You can fill it with ever, whatever you want. Uh, yeah, you could. I'll just kind of say, hmm. You could fill it with whatever you want. Hmm. <sighs> All right. I think I see the situation you're trying to describe. Hmm. Do you? Yes. If one of you has all the pain, then the other one is clear to be filled with whatever they want. Hmm. Hmm. It's the only thing that makes rational sense. Hmm. Right. You see... There is something that I won't be able to explain by glasses, and, well, oh, if I tell you, there's nothing you can do about it. So, anyway, you see, if you're technically the same person, but you're divided like this way, if somebody can get whatever they want, then you both move along, don't you? In some way or another. If, you're, if, the, if both glasses are the same vessel, even though they're split in two, Whatever happens to both vessels affects the whole thing. Hmm. Right. Yeah, we'll just kind of nod along. You know, go. So if the glasses were mm, linked in some way. Mm. Well, not linked, as you said. If they were the same vessel, just existing in two separate places. Right, right. It's simply a... A waste if both of them are half full. That means you'll never have the clarity of filling it with entirely something new because it'll be mixed in with the old. Hmm. I know I was just going to kind of nod and furrow his brow and go, I suppose. I suppose it gets a bit muddied, but from my perspective, if they're both the same glass, then they're both going to be filled with both parts, the new and the pain. Mm. It's just as though you have twice the glass. Mm. But one glass is empty and one is full. Even mm. if they're the same vessel, the two glasses experience individual feelings. Yes. Well, the only way your metaphor really works from a third point of view is if that isn't the case. Mm. From a third point of view, someone would tell you the fairest thing to do is to have them both be half full. Mm. Mm. The fairest, but also the most redundant. Mm. Redundant? Mm. Mm. Mm, maybe, yes. I suppose you did say something was lost in the glass metaphor if it was so easily transcribed as I said there earlier well oh, it wouldn't really exist would it mm. that's just the way I've come to understand it right mm. like I said me telling you this information there's nothing you can do about it hmm Mm. Don't I'll... get me don't get me wrong, but you don't exactly seem a, to be Kahari's type. Mm. Well, truth be told, we haven't really spoken much. Mm. Mm. And I think that does come down to a few personal differences. Personal differences. Yes. I don't exactly agree with some things, with some of her views on 
helping people. Well, she's hardly controversial. She's as she's as plain as brown. Hmm. Right. Well, I suppose I do mean that. Eh. I do mean I don't quite agree on the what some of the things I've seen her do with her fortune ability. Hmm. The opposite of mine, I imagine. I suppose. And he'll just kind of pause for a moment and then go, I suppose that would mean that yours has the power to make events worse. Mm hmm. Mm. Right. Remember, mm. there's two opposite states here, empty and full. Mm. Right. <sighs> Do you know what? If you try to drink that right now, I could make it so it would spill all over and dribble down your chin and down to your neck and get to your clavicle and, well, whichever way gravity tells it to, dribble down your chest. He's just going to look at her like, Aha! And then go, I imagine you could. I wasn't going to try drinking it now. Why not? It's still a perfectly good drink. You mix two different flavors. It's good enough for me. She'll just take it and drink it. He'll just kind of shake his head and go, Right, well, that would be quite embarrassing. Although I do suppose that, as I might have told you before, if you mess up my clothes, I can simply change them. Hmm... But can you really change them? We are in a uh, public place. Well, of course I would have to find somewhere more private. Yeah. But if they're an illusion, even if you changed them... Huh? Hmm? You can make stuff that normies can see. Well, yes. Normal people could see them before. Huh. Hmm. Well, isn't that useful? Yes. Useful. <laughs> I was just thinking about the motorcycle costume for Sanzo when he says that. Yes. Well. He'll kind of check his watch and go. If you're interested, I suppose you said you'd be staying until tomorrow. The light should be coming on soon. Mm -mm. Yes, yes. Uh, a stroll down the street sounds awfully good. Mm, right. Well, you helped me overcome my pressing business that was in the past. I hope I can at least make you enjoy, help you enjoy the last day before, the day before you have to do something. Mm. Mm. You make it sound like you're going to give me my final right. <sighs> and he's just going to say, well, I suppose I was being a bit dramatic, wasn't I? I'm just saying, I hope you'll enjoy yourself. And he'll stand up. All right, the bill will come. Okay. How much will it be? Mm. You just ordered, like, side dish, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right, so it will be 20 buckles. 20 buckles, okay. <sighs> now me. Why you have to do this? So what's Rio going to do? What's it going to do? Hmm. I'll take her up to see the lights. Is he going to pay? Yes, he's going to pay. He's going to pay right. for the food. Alright, do you want a wrong understanding? I was going to say, doesn't she owe you f money for food? Yes, she does. I will roll understanding. Three. Does Rio make a comment about this? No. He forgot. Alright. So just kind of when you when you I you do it without hesitation, right? Yeah. I mean he brought her here. He was gonna treat. Alright, she'll just kind of blink and uh, she'll just kind of like slump a bit and will be like Alright, let's go. Mm. Alright. <laughs> that was a bit Oh, 
I mean, he did. He did, he did that when he trained to Akira and Reiko too. Yes, you did. Yes. Do you extend your arm out again? Yes. All right. So I guess you'll take a stroll through the winter, through through the winter, through the winter town. Yes. Through the winter town. Yes. So maybe something a bit more personable. Personable. Something a bit softer to water. So, okay, I don't have a correction for that one. And for some reason, you feel like Jeepa's sad tonight. Chibo. I'm not dating her. I'm not dating Naomi too. This isn't a date. Uh, it is not a date. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that, dude. Yeah, I know it's one, but Rio would keep saying, yeah, it wasn't a date. So, the boys of Dorm A1 are pretty fucking bad, <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> how many non-dates have they gone out on yet at this, at this point? I didn't think this was going badly. I mean, Miss Miss Rose oh, understands these things. Yes. A couple, <laughs> couple. All right. So you'll make your way through the um, you'll make your way through the streets, and uh, she'll just kind of look over at people walking by, mm -hmm. and uh, she'll she'll just kind of uh, uh, you won't even she she looks visibly sad. Oh, visibly sad. Yes. Well, I mean, Rio thinks he has an idea of why that might be, but he's going to ask, is something the matter? <sighs> well, isn't there always something the matter? I suppose. I was hoping for a bit more specific than that. Well, it's not really a specific feeling. Right. It's just, you don't seem like you're enjoying yourself. Don't seem like I'm enjoying myself. Well. In terms of the capability of being, well, in an enjoyable mood, I suppose, uh, I suppose I have hit my peak. Hmm. Right. Uh, I guess that's understandable. But do you really understand her? I mean, to be perfectly honest, no, not much more than the basics. I can understand mm. that a lot's happened and a lot's going on. It's not oh. as if I feel like I really understand you at the moment. Sorry, but we haven't had that much time to get to know each other. Well, I have the one person who I felt did understand me. Well, I won't repeat myself. Mm -hmm. And he'll say, right. And there's nobody like that for you at the moment, is there? He's just going to shake his head. In the know. Mm. Why is that? Mm. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> I guess I never really made much of an effort to be understood before. Like I said, like I said earlier, I thought I knew myself. A bit wrong. I suppose they do say before before you can love somebody else, you should love yourself. Because that's when you'll know what you feel is something that is true. At the end of the day, you're always going to live with yourself. What other people come and go within your life, whether voluntarily or it's taken away from them. Yeah. Yeah. 
it would be quite stupid of me to think that that would be something you could get over so quickly. Or at all. Well, I said you should stick to your convictions. If I didn't have any convictions of my own, well, I don't mind being a hypocrite, but only if it means it will get people places. <sighs> right. At the end of the day, I know myself. And I guess by extension, Karu better than anybody. Mm. And that's not necessarily positive or negative. That's just the way it is. Right. <sighs> but even if even if you don't know yourself, that doesn't mean that you wouldn't want to reach out and see what other people think feel not just for your family but elsewhere as well mm. <sighs> yeah i'm starting to get that mm. as much as i i wouldn't really say hate to admit it but I suppose for the sake of appearances, as much as I'd hate to admit it, this is the... Mm, yeah. This is the most fun I've had since the holidays started. Mm, fun? Whining and crying to each other. How morose. Well... Yeah. I guess I could elaborate and say, instead of fun, it's the best I've felt since Faith started. Mm. Mm. Studying hasn't quite been the same since I got back. Studying. Mm. Right. Mm. Do you really need to use that term for everything you apply yourself to? Mm. Well, I said reading before, and you said studying, so I was just keeping it up. Mm. And who are you to listen to ah, some bimbo's opinion on yourself? Mm -hmm. Well, let's just say it's not an opinion I disagreed with at the time. <laughs> so that's the part you're going to highlight. Mm. Well, what happened? Hmm. And uh, so we're like, uh, besides, I wouldn't have been able to do that with him anyway. Marai, Marai City is... Uh, Asate. Asate City is a lot different than anywhere else in Japan. His, uh, his myth wouldn't have uh, been able to withstand somewhere that's more human. Right. You're just going to lock around and then go, Look, this might come across a bit hypocritical, but for what it's worth, I am sorry that you didn't get to experience this with the person you wanted to. And I am sorry that in the course of doing what I thought was right, you were one of the people that got hurt. Mm. You'll be hurting a lot more people if you continue to go down that path. Well, I did tell you. I did tell you I did apply that to myself when I, what I said before. He's talking about the, sometimes people do bad things for good actions. Mm. For good intents. <sighs> Saying your apologies to a to a heartbroken schoolgirl isn't uh, isn't going to be the hardest challenge you face. I don't know how much you know about these things, but well, we were fated to be opponents. I told you this before. Hmm. And he'll say, "Yes, you said that." <sighs> 
But that just makes it even harder to accept. I mean, fate, whatever. If the tables come up that I think doing what right, doing what is right means going up against you, then I don't really have a choice. I'm not going to do what I think is wrong, but... Well, I suppose I've made it quite clear that if I think it's for the best, I can do what I have to, even if I don't want to. Right. And she'll just kind of uncouple herself from your arm and she'll just she'll just kind of walk forward a bit and she'll be like, uh, I mean that in a multitude of ways, uh, myself and Kahara. Kahara is the one who's in line with your ideals. Kahara is the one who's going to be there when you go through these challenges and she'll be the one in which you rely on. I, however, my dreams, my aspirations, what I'm working for, it's entirely in opposition to yours and your groups. And the only reason I know this is because I am Kahara at the same time that Kahara is me. Mm. We're just I was meant to be an obstacle in your path, an obstacle in Kahari's path. And I'm also meant to be a platform in which she can jump off of. That is my role. I see. I was just going to kind of look down and then go, <sighs> Well, it sounds like you've accepted that. And you told me I can't change things. And it's not my place to step between you and Koharu. Mm. I made that I... choice when I was just a little girl. Do I regret it? Mm. I can't exactly answer that to myself yet. It's still an impending answer. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay, then. Leo's going to just kind of shake, him, shake his head for a moment and then go, right. Well, what I told you is that Regardless of what you say is fate, I'm going to treat things the way that I feel is right. If we're going to be enemies because I'm on Koharu's side, even though eh, I have to say I've enjoyed your company a lot more, then if it comes down to that, you'll just kind of nod. <sighs> but do you really have to bring up the fact that we're enemies now? It was I was enjoying myself. If I don't, well, wouldn't, wouldn't it hurt later on? <sighs> it's going to hurt regardless. And uh, she'll just kind of, like, she's, she's like, you can see her back, and she'll just kind of huddle to herself, and she'll be like, uh, well, I was truly thinking of your own regard. It can't get much worse than this, so... Right. Mm. Right. Hmm. Mm. Thinking. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Rio's going to take a few steps forward and go, right, well, <sighs> thanks for the warning, but for your regards, even if we're going to be enemies, I don't consider anyone present, I don't consider anyone, especially you at the moment, to be my enemy, until you have to be. And, uh, at this point, you know, like when people like, like, they just kind of like uh, kneel, but not kneel, and they huddle their knees together, that kind of thing. Yes. That one. So she's like perched on the floor, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. You know mm -hmm. what that looks like, right? 
Yes. Yes. And you can just, you can just, if you walk up next to her, you can like hear the sniffling. Mm-hmm. Mm. This got way too real. Okay. Okay. See, the thing is, Rio doesn't know what to do. And even though he wants to help people a lot and like help them get over their problems, he doesn't feel like he's the right person to comfort her at this moment. So I'm going to roll my understanding. All right. A four. Call a friend. <laughs> Call Akira. <laughs> okay, I think I know what I want to do, but what ideas does he have? <laughs> um... I can't help you there. It's completely bull fucking average. Well, he got us like a five with a social link. That's a pretty good understanding. Yeah, but I can't really tell you what to do because, you know, it's a, more, <laughs> it's a lot more laden than that. It's what you as a player want to I do. I mean, you can yeah, give me a hint yeah. that's such a good thing to do is yes. I honestly can't. <laughs> What's the... Okay. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. A bit, but no. Okay. okay. So. So. She is having a hard time. This is probably... You know what? I'm willing to do a retarded Hamato thing. Uh, <laughs> um, walk away? Walk no. Away. no. Not that. Take a picture. No, not that. <laughs> Uh, ask her about talk about the sky. No. <laughs> Drop out of the campaign. Say you want talk to talk about Gohara. No, 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 no. <laughs> like that maybe one. It's, maybe it's not that much retarded. I'll go no up shit. and I'll I'll go up and say, I don't know if I'm the right person to be here at the moment, or if I can make you feel better at all about this, but. Hmm. Well, <sighs> so uh, maybe this will, uh, maybe this will at least make you laugh. This little guy doesn't have any other purpose, and I'm going to put the toad on her shoulder and <laughs> pat her on the other one. See, that's for retarded things. Awesome. It's fuck. Slip your toad onto her shoulder. <laughs> Alright. She'll roll her courage roll. Just because you Courage! <laughs> he just went up. Come on, one! Remember how freaky oh. that thing is? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what was wrong? Whatever gets her to stop crying. Let's stick to this conversation. Check out this abortion frog I have. <laughs> hey, man. I like it. <laughs> okay, it's that's something... not how Mato move, it's a Nakira move. It's something That's interesting. That's not an Akira move. Excuse me. I just said it was funny. Anything to do with animals is an Akira move. It's fucking autistic. Anything to do with talking bad to women's a wrath move. Mm. I'll accept that. But it's not, though. It's more nuanced yeah. to this, boys. Right. Oh, damn. She's super courageous. I guess she's not she, scared of a weird toad. She, she'll just kind of uh, blink. And she'll bring her hand over and she'll cradle the toad and be like, this is strangely cute. <laughs> Why do you have this? She just seems surprised and confused. <laughs> yes. And I was just going to kind of shrug and go, eh, I can't really abandon the little guy. He's adorable. He's kind of my responsibility. He looks a little derpy. Mm, right. Well, thank you. Your responsibility. What did you do? Father him like a seahorse? Uh, something like that. Hmm. Well, I guess anything can happen in domains. Hmm. It's more of I made him out of mud. Huh? You made him out of mud? Something like that. Like I said, I'm reading about up on it. I guess this would uh, help describe the texture then. Mm, right. What's his name? 
I hadn't really. Was well, given... it a girl? She would just kind of try to look between its legs. Yeah, frogs don't. You can't tell from that. <laughs> she she killed like frogs. Now he's an expert. <laughs> yeah. Carol. And he'll be he'll be Carol. like I don't know. Anyways, I hadn't quite gotten around to the name yet. It's only about a day old. And it's a. F- mm, I guess demons are weird. Right. It's not a tadpole. Yeah. No. Kiro. That's good. I was thinking Saisho. Because just told me what its one distinction was. It um, is the first. Saisho. <laughs> I was just thinking Kiro for the onomatopoeia for what it's for how it sounds. That's what frogs say. In toes. Yes. Yes. Kiro, 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 Kiro. Kiro, Kiro. Kiro, Kiro. Kiro. Yes, but like Rio is like he doesn't really have a name yet. Oh, I see. Still trying to find who he is, then. Yes, it strikes me now as very poetic. And she'll just kind of wipe her, wipe her face with her free hand, and she'll be like, uh, "If that's your way of trying to comfort me, it's." Uh, Pretty bad. <laughs> hmm. Well, forgive me. I'm new at this. I was at a loss. Could you give me some pointers for next time? <laughs> pointers? Well, I was joking. Oh. Wow. Well, I feel like even if you were joking, you still wouldn't know what to do. Ah, right. <laughs>